Hi, this is Gus Salis with, I'm with the ESCOM Associates, and I'm now going to show you stethoscopes, which are accessories that you can use to expand the capabilities of your locating device. The first one that I'm going to show you is called the miniature high gain stethoscope, and a stethoscope is an extension of the device that you can use in uh, places where the mere size of your locating receiver is too big to allow you to do the job. For example, you could have a cable tray, uh, or you could be in a handhold or a manhole or a distribution panel with a bunch of cables, and you need to identify which is the cable to which I applied my transmitter signal some distance away. So you could do that by simply touching the cable with the bottom part of the stethoscope. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do now, and the, on the receiver's display, you will see the response that you get. So nothing here, nothing on the second one, third, fourth, fifth. So this is the cable that I needed to identify very clearly. Notice that I'm using 33 kilohertz, and uh, also notice the gain. The gain is not that high because this stethoscope, that antenna, is already a high gain, high sensitivity antenna. Next, I'm going to show you the uh, small stethoscope antenna. You will notice that when I switched uh, stethoscopes, the receiver uh, showed you briefly the, uh, an icon representing that an accessory was removed and then another accessory was uh, put in place. So that accessory in this case is the stethoscope. This is the uh, small stethoscope. It's a little bit bigger than the miniature stethoscope. This one on the bottom, hard to see, but it has a concave surface. And that is the surface that you're going to place around the cable. So that gives you the orientation that you need to hold the antenna against the cable with. So again, I'm going to repeat the process. So I'm not seeing the screen, the display that you can see on this corner. I don't see that. So what I'm going to do next is increase the sensitivity of the receiver. And now I'm going to repeat the process. This is not as sensitive an antenna, and many times you don't need that extra sensitivity in order to pick up the signal. So I'm going to touch the different cables. So that is the cable that carries my signal. So this is the small stethoscope. Uh, this happens to have a female threaded connection here where you can um, screw in an extension pole uh, in order to access cables that could be in a manhole or could be overhead. Next, I'm going to show you the uh, CD stethoscope, which is a stethoscope that will not only show you intensity of the signal that travels along the cable, that, but it'll also show you direction of flow of the signal. Signal being injected by the transmitter, which in this case, in my particular case, my transmitter is that way, so the signal will travel away from the transmitter on the cable that I'm connected to, and the signal will flow, may flow back this way for any other cable that carries the return current. Okay, so now I, collect, I connected the CD stethoscope, and this is the CD stethoscope. It's called the Current Direction Stethoscope, and you can expand, extend it you know, as needed. I'm just going to keep it short for the purpose of this demo. But uh, it has the same concave uh, surface on this end that allows you to determine the orientation of the stethoscope once you place it on the cable. And on this side, on this, on the top, you have two arrows with LEDs that will light up to tell you which way the current is flowing. So uh, I'm going to try that now. Again, my transmitter is this way, so signal is going to flow out of my cable, and any other cables that are, have a return current will show the arrow pointing in the wrong direction, pointing back to the transmitter. Now, the, what's important here is you need to first identify which is the cable that carries your signal, and you do that by looking 
at the intensity of the scene by looking at your bar graph and by listening to the sound that comes off your receiver. So that's what we're going to do next. I'm not going to show you the LEDs. I'm just going to show you signal strength. Same as with the other stereoscope, stereoscopes, that's the first indication that you will be looking for. So first cable, second cable, carry signal. OK, that may be my conductor. I don't know yet. Third one. This is not my conductor. Fourth one, this is not my conductor. And this conductor also carries my signal. So uh, now comes a little bit of a problem, right? If you don't have a CD stethoscope, which is my cable? Is it this one, the one I'm connected to, or is it this one? I don't know. Uh, many times that happens. Uh, signal couples to another cable, you know, you do not control that signal. You do not control that signal. You apply it to your cable, and once it starts going, it's going to follow the path of least resistance. So it is not uncommon that some distance away from the transmitter, you might have signal on multiple conductors, like in this case. Signal here, signal here. So which one is it? Well, that's where maybe current direction will allow you to identify your cable further. Let's look at the direction of the flow. Again, my transmitter is that way, so signals should be flowing away from my transmitter, not flowing back to the transmitter. So now I'm going to show you the LEDs. Okay, so I'm gonna put it really close to you. And this cable has good signal, but that signal goes back. So it is not my cable. Let's try the other one. This cable shows an LED with an arrow pointing in that direction. So this is the cable that carries the tone that I applied with my transmitter some distance away. So this is the CD stethoscope. Again, accessories that will expand the capabilities of your locating device.